How are you doing this Martin from Guidance for Life? Today I'm going to show you how to take a fig cutton, root it and then grow a plant out of it and um, then you'll have a fig tree that actually bears fruit and we've already had one to taste at one of our workshops and it tasted absolutely delicious. All right, so anytime you get cuttings um, and you're not ready to stick them into potting compost straight away, what you need to do is put them into water, like so. Of course, uh, you better have them standing up in the water. And um, so we'll just um, take all these fig cuttings, which I bought from the UK, because I haven't found anyone in Ireland that actually grows figs, unfortunately. If you know anyone or if you do grow figs, please let me know because I'd love to get some more cuttings and we can always do a bartering or exchange. And um, for the sake of a bit of extra diversity and varieties. So we have all these fake cuttings now. I'm gonna put these on the table now. Actually, here's some uh, new raspberries we got as well. These are Valencia. It's an orange raspberry, very rare one. Uh, can't wait to see these going. We like to keep uh, coatings in willow water for a day or two before we stick them into potting compost um, because it actually helps them to root because willows are full of rooting hormone. Of course, with um, figs, currants and willows, that's not really necessary because they root quite readily. But if you're rooting any other kind of coatings, it's definitely an advantage, even scarring them as well. I'll show you now how to do that. But it's really simple. So all we do is, um, we just basically take our cutting. We could scar it or scarify it. Um, I'll show you here with the secretaires. So here's the secretaires. Um, we want to take away that bottom bud a little bit. See that green layer is the cambium layer of the wood. We want to expose that just a little bit, very gently scratch it. Now, and all we do then is we have a crate here full of peat or potting compost or you can do sand and vermiculite as well and so you just basically stick it in there and leave it um, make sure it does, does not dry out and just leave it outside you could keep it in the greenhouse but it's not necessary I would make sure that it's not going to dry out that's the important thing so this was a king desert king fig so we'll look for all the rest of the Desert King. That's a giant fig, that's a different one. Some new varieties. Could also cut them off freshly and that'll expose the cambium layer a little bit better. So after about um, four to eight weeks, these um, cuttings will have rooted and they will have small little roots like that on them. And uh, you can then transplant, and chances are they will have also got some leaves, of course. Um, so then you can pot these on or plant them directly outside, if you like. Uh, I'll show you how to pot them now. So we just take an adequate size pot, for example, this uh, three liter pot, and we'll fill it with compost. And we put the fig in here. Fill it up with compost. Doesn't have to be super rich compost, but um, I guess it would have been better to use fresh compost. Now, don't push down on it, just whack it from above. Now, and we have a label, which is this one here. This is actually a special one. Um, Panashi, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is like a stripy fig, like a tiger fig. And uh, we put the label in here, and that's it. That'll turn into a fig tree in about the next few months anyway, during half of a growing season even, and we can plant it outside anytime then after that. Well, we could keep it in the greenhouse for a while, um, 
so that it'll actually root quicker but uh, that's not really necessary when it's rooting um, especially with figs you really only need heat for the fruits but you can plant them outside as well no problem so here is a, another plant this is actually um, you can see here this one here is a brown turkey variety of fig which is actually the most common one used in Ireland and we also had some figs off them already as well but with figs in, in a cold temperate climate it's really important to remember that um, you'll see the small little figs developing before the winter and these are going to turn into actual ripe fruits uh, they're going to swell and ripen uh, next year so these ones developed last year which means we're going to get figs this year which is great um, just a few but still you know that's just one tree this was actually only a cutting I'll just show you here um, a couple of years ago this you can see here there's it's quite substantial in uh, diameter already the smell of it is beautiful and you'll find uh, even the wood and the leaves too of a, a fig tree will um, make your garden smell really nice plus you get figs off them and um, year after year of course you don't need a lot of space for figs either it's uh, like another fruit to grow um, so you don't have to just uh, stick to apples and plums and the usual currants and raspberries and strawberries grow some figs this year and um, enjoy thanks for watching bye bye